This service is brought to you from St. Paul's United Methodist Church in Helena, Montana. We are located at 80 East Lawrence Street. Our senior pastor is Marianne Neeson, and our associate pastor is Tyler Amundsen. We hope this ministry is of value to you. Welcome to St. Paul's. We are a Christian community in the heart of Helena, grounded in hospitality, growing in faith, giving in service, and going in mission. And invite us now to enter into this fourth Sunday of Advent by listening to Stefan play our intro. Thank you so much, uh, and uh, welcome, as I said, to this fourth Sunday of Advent. I want to begin by saying thank you again, especially to Tanya and our choir and the instrumentalists uh, with the gift of music that they are sharing with us. It really is a wonderful way to begin this last uh, week of Advent, so thank you, everybody. Uh, let's see, a couple other announcements. Tomorrow evening, 
is our jazz solstice celebration. We've been doing this for over 10 years now, and it's a wonderful uh, event. It, we share it with the Jewish community, and we light candles, Advent candles, Jewish candles. We do uh, together, come together, uh, with something I think that doesn't happen quite enough in our uh, world, and uh, simply pray together for peace and listen to good music and uh, spend some quiet moments. So uh, if you'd like, if you've never been to it, I think you would enjoy it. Come tomorrow night, 7 o'clock right here. Uh, let's see. Next Sunday is Celebration Sunday. Obviously, this week is a big week. Uh, Christmas Eve, of course, is on Thursday evening, and we have wonderful services planned at 5, 7, and 9. But we do have worship again next Sunday. We call it Celebration Sunday. We celebrate the many ways our church has been uh, in mission for good over the last year. And after the 11 o'clock service, so after this service next week, we are doing even more celebrating as Dave and Faye downstairs are hosting a gathering and we are cele they're celebrating 50 years of marriage. So. You'll notice they're separated as far as they can be uh, right now between behind the organ and the far end of the choir. But next week, uh, come if you will and uh, do stay after the 11 o'clock service for a celebration. Now, just uh, want to mention on this Sunday when the choir is at both services and is doing an amazing job as usual, but today, of course, focusing on the uh, Christmas portion of, the, of Handel's Messiah, Afterwards, you might go home in the newspaper and you might notice this Best of Helena thing, which has a thing that says Best Church Choir. And you could then vote for the choir of your choice. All right. Just saying. Uh, and after the service today, in the foyer, you will see a sign-up sheet and about three weeks, I think, we are again hosting uh, families who are homeless here through the Family Promise Program. So if you can help with that, serve a meal, stay overnight, uh, be part of the hospitality for that. Marsha Armstrong has a sign-up sheet in the back. So I think that's what we have. So I invite you now to stand, greet each other, and welcome each other today. Stay standing and we'll sing O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. We're going to sing the first four verses of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel.
Good morning. We come together today with so many things that we are thinking about on this great day. Let us bring our voices together as we pray the unison prayer that you can find on the last page of your bulletin or up here on the screen. Let's pray. Oh God, in this sacred season of longing and waiting and celebrating, may we learn to trust your promise. God is with us here among us now. Come, Lord Jesus. Amen. Our hearts are lifted by the Christmas spirit and burdened by the challenges of this season. Bring these joys and concerns in silent prayer before our loving God. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh, come, O oh, come, Emmanuel, even though we are not ready for you, there are so many things left undone. We're kind of a mess, just like we were that very first Christmas. We have tasks uncompleted. We have people left unloved and unhealed and a whole world churning with darkness and need. We cry out for you, Lord. Our souls hunger for the peace only you can bring. Let the music and the words this morning lift and fill our souls. Come, Lord Jesus, quickly come. We feel you near us whenever we repeat the words that you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And God will raise us up on eagles' wings. Well, good news, we are going to receive an offering. And for those of you who are visiting, it may seem a bit odd that we applaud an opportunity to give something away, but it really is a way we have of changing the world and making a difference. And, and uh, our applause, in many ways, reminds us that it's a good thing. Uh, one of the ways your offering is used, it seems an obvious thing to mention today, is the uh, music ministry of this church. Yes, we have a wonderful offering today, uh, but we have wonderful offerings every Sunday at both services. Our choirs are amazing, our choir directors, accompanists, instrumentalists, special guests, all of that. Uh, those are, you help make all of that possible, so thank you for your offering each Sunday. Let's pray. Wondrous and good God, we do thank you for the gift of your love as you have embraced our humanity with divinity. That's what Christmas is all about. May the music we sing and hear today be a tangible expression of our desire to live and to love in harmony with your grace and generosity. Receive us today and receive the gifts we offer. May they help make the world a more hospitable place for all your people. We ask this through Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to invite our greeters to come forward to wait on us and we will hear some music.
invite any children that would like to come forward as Dave leads us in our welcome to the children. Please stand and join us in welcoming the children. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I see something way over here. What have you got? Money. Money? It's full. It's full? Uh -huh. And do you, do you know who it's for? Is it for me? No? Yes. Yes, it is for me, but I give it away. Who do I give it to? Do you know? I give it to help people who are hungry get food. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. That's very good. So here it is. All right. Would you put that on the altar for me? It's full. It is full. All right. So I bet, is anybody excited? It's a pretty big week, isn't it? Yeah. yeah you excited? Anybody? Yes. Yeah. Pretty exciting. You have a Christmas tree? Is there anything under it yet? Yes. Yes, yes. like what? Presents. presents. Wrapped up presents. Who thinks there might be a present under the tree for you? Don't you hope so? I hope so. There's some presents under there. That's pretty cool. Do you, hi. Um, remember when you were cookie bath and one of Erica's friends gave me a present and it was Jennifer. Jennifer gave you a present? Yeah, and I put it under my tree and sometimes when I get hungry or anything, I get more presents. So, I just, have two. just two so far? Yeah, yeah okay. There you go. So, so you got presents and you think some of them are for you. Are there presents under there? Do you think, are you giving people presents? Yeah. Are, yeah, you're giving some away too. That's right. And that's very cool. What would you do, say if I told you that you will have the best Christmas ever if you figure out a way to give a present to everybody you meet? Even your family, exactly. You do a gift exchange? Yeah, that's a way to give it. Well, what if I said you could give a present to everybody here? How many people do you think are here? A thousand. A thousand? Okay, well, it's not quite that many, but there's a lot. And it would be a lot of presents, wouldn't it, to give a present to everybody? But do you know that you could give a present to everybody out there? That would be a lot of presents, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be a little scary, right? Yeah, I, I know, I, it, for sure. But you can do it. Do you know how you can do it? Anybody know how you could do, give a present to everybody you meet? Do you know how? You could compliment people. So when you see somebody, you could just say, you look very nice today. Look at the smile. Wow, that's a pretty sweater. How are you today? Pretty cool, huh? You could look back at them. Look, look at them. They're all smiling. You could say, hi, choir. Watch what they do. Just go ahead and do it. Hi. Look at They got happier. Just a smile. You could love each other. That's exactly right. You could be kind. You could help somebody. Like, is it pretty icy out there still? It's been icy. So if you saw somebody was having trouble, you could say, oh, here, let me help you. You could do that, couldn't you? It's hard sometimes, but you could do it. You could do it. Because sometimes if you've got really good shoes on and stuff like that and somebody's wearing high heels, dangerous. So it's good if you could kind of help them get out to their car. Yeah. You could smile. You could smile. Just a smile. I tell you what, no smiles for a minute. Don't smile at all. Now look out there and smile and see what they do. <laughs> just automatic, it does it. That's how you can give, just little ways. And that's what Jesus did, really, little ways. His whole life, he gave, 
people compliments or smiles or things like that. And that's how you could give a present to everybody all the time. And if you do that, you'll be amazed what a good Christmas you'll have. Did you want to expound on that? If you, if you help somebody, they would love you forever. Yeah. There you go. That is the sermon. So that is very true, though. If you, if you are kind to somebody or love somebody, it helps somebody a lot. If somebody likes your dress, like I said, you have a beautiful dress, and you told me that you were a snowflake. Right. So there you go. All right, let's say a prayer. Dear God, God, help us learn learn to give presents to everyone. everyone. Amen. Amen. All right, Miss Lynn. Now look at, smile at Miss Lynn, and she will, look at, watch her. Watch her. Look at how excited she is. All right. Winter time. Was in the moon of winter time when all the birds had fled that mighty Gitche granite to send angel choirs instead before their light the stars grew dim. seated. Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. 
The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. so that the treasure of all the nations shall come. And I will fill this house with splendor, says the Lord of hosts. And from Malachi, See, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to the temple. The messenger of the covenant in whom you delight indeed is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when the messenger appears? For the message is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. The messenger will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver and will purify the descendants of Levi and refine them like gold and silver until they present offerings to the Lord in righteousness. Oh, 
from Isaiah. Therefore, the Lord will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and will bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. Tellest good tidings to Zion. Get thee up into the high mountain. <coughs> o thou that tellest good tidings to Zion, get thee up into the high mountain. into the high mountain, up into the high mountain. O thou that tellest good tidings to Jerusalem, lift up thy voice, with the strength, lift it up, be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God, behold your God. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God, behold your God, behold your God. <coughs> o thou that tellest good tidings to Zion, Arise, shine, for thy light is come. Arise, 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 shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen, is risen upon thee, is risen, is risen upon thee. The glory, the glory, the glory of the Lord is risen.
Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples, but the Lord will arise upon you, and God's glory will appear over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. For the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. tells us that in that region there were shepherds living in the fields 
keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and singing. From Zechariah, rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you, triumphant and victorious, yet humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. And from Revelation, then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the sound of many waters and like the sound of mighty thunder peals crying out, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. On God's robe and on God's thigh is a name, and it is inscribed, King of Kings and Lord of Lords.
Please remain standing. Hey, it's working. And uh, we will sing Angels We Have Heard on High, verses 1 and 3. Christmas spirit. <laughs> May the Gloria we sing take root in our lives and bring us all a little closer to peace on earth, goodwill for all. Amen? Yeah. Amen. This service is brought to you from St. Paul's United Methodist Church in Helena, Montana. We are located at 80 East Lawrence Street. Our senior pastor is Marianne Neeson, and our associate pastor is Tyler Amundsen. We hope this ministry is of value to you. <laughs>